In a recent interview with Stereogum, renowned music producer No ID talked about the surprise release of Beyoncé's hit Church Girls. The 42-year-old Grammy Award-winning singer managed to drop a beat for her husband Jay-Z, surprising both the artist and the producer. Nor did ID reveal that he originally created the instrumental beat while working with the 53-year-old rapper at the couple's home. I was at their house one day and I had some gear and I started making beats, the 52-year-old producer explained. And he rapped and it was for him and he put it on the computer, and I didn't think about it at all, and I forgot about it, he added. Interestingly, Jay-Z contacted No ID and said he wanted to use the beat for Beyoncé's album. Jay joked with me, dude, that guy stole my beat. He asks, do you remember any ideas you haven't finished on the computer yet? No IDs listed. Church Girl will be the seventh track on Beyoncé's 2022 album Renaissance. No ID was originally intended to be a house song, but Beyoncé took a different approach to the song. No, I have a record for Church Girl he told the producer. Reactions to the song have been mixed, with some disliking it and others embracing it enthusiastically. Neither ID defended the song's divisive nature, saying. It's art. When music is divisive, it usually means it's new. Bayance, who has visited 39 cities around the world, recently concluded a Renaissance World Tour with a performance in Kansas City, Missouri. For those who missed the live broadcast, the concert film, Renaissance. The Bayance movie opens in AMC theaters on December 1.